See, the exploration takes what our students already do and it organizes it better. Let me explain. Over four years, students at Weymouth High School must enroll in 24 credits. They can enroll in 28. Um, that, that's what they have space for, but they must enroll in 24. And they must only pass 21 of those credits. So here's the total amount they have to enroll in. They have to pass 21 credits. Now, that 21 credits is broken down. They have 13 credits in core subjects. That's your English and history and math and science. And they have 2.75 in non-core subjects like health and PE. And they have five and a quarter in electives. Those are what, this is the requirement of the 21 credits the Weymouth High School students have had to do in the past. And then they have three free credits. So let's take a look at a student that would be explo exploring a career academy. Same 13 credits in core subjects. Nothing changes. The student gets the exact same education in the core subjects they've always gotten. Same 2.75 in non-core, same PE, same health, same unified arts. But what they do is those five electives they already took. Remember back here? Let's go back. Five electives right over here. Those same five electives, now they take in academy-related electives. Same space, just organized better. And if they want, they still have to enroll in 24 credits. They have three and a quarter free outside of the academy to do whatever they wish. So a student can be in the Math and Science Academy and take art classes, absolutely, and vice versa. We want to make sure the student has freedom. We are just better organizing the academy-related electives they, they choose. Okay, so in the end of the day, what changes for my student? We have opened up more opportunities for your student. Your child now has more power and choice in their schedule. And nothing about the selecting of courses changes for your student. How is it better? We will facilitate real world interdisciplinary work that is relevant and meaningful. You can imagine how much more engaged our students will be if their classes are geared towards a pathway they are interested in exploring. What it's going to allow is your student to focus on what he or she loves, to get the skills he or she needs for success. And whatever that next step may be, college, career, or the military, we want to make sure they have the skills ready for success. How will prepare your student for the next step? Well, that's really our new mission statement. That's something that will apply to every single Weymouth High School student next year, that we are embedding those core 21st century skills across the curriculum to really prepare students for post-secondary education, careers, and active citizenship. Again, it's the skills your student needs for the tomorrow he or she wants. Okay, a couple of things that we've had questions about. Can a sophomore make this decision? Well, first, let's get, let's get one thing clear. They're not selecting their life's career. They are selecting what they want to explore. They have always selected their elective sophomores at this level. This just makes that selection more meaningful. In fact, what we are doing is offering extra support. Instead of a sophomore having to pick from hundreds of electives, they can look at the, the templates of suggested schedules for their interested pathway, and they can choose uh, a prepackaged thing. They also have freedom to go outside that, but it's a much easier process for them. All of our sophomores went through the career component of Naviance and completed an assignment in their ELA class. So we've actually offer, offered more guidance this year than ever before in helping sophomores make their elective uh, uh, choices. What if a student has, doesn't have any idea? That's great. We, we suggest that they try to figure out what they're most passionate about. They can change all the way up through the end of their junior year. So this is not a decision they cannot come back from. We have built in a liberal arts pathway in the Humanities Academy for a student who really is, is, uh, wants a taste of absolutely everything. But don't f forget, even students that go into a career pathway have three and a quarter credits uh, free that they can take outside. So um, there are many avenues for a student to make this decision. As a parent myself, one of the things that I'm excited about is, let's say, let's say my child goes into a career pathway, she doesn't care for it, she, gets, she, she, she does stay in, she likes the classes, but she, she leaves saying, you know what, that, that career that I explored is not for me. Fabulous. That's one thing she can cross off her list in college. And we all know how expensive it is to 
make a major, make a change in your major in college. So we're we're really giving an opportunity to save twenty or thirty thousand dollars, even if your student doesn't like their career pathway. Um, if they don't like their career pathway, they can always change. Like I've said, up until the end of their uh, junior year, um, this is about career exploration. So really, all we're asking your student to do is choose their courses for senior year, something they have always done in the past. Are they a graduation requirement? No. The capstone project is, and certainly being in a career academy and a pathway will help, but the career academy is not a graduation requirement. Will my child be in classes with people only from his or her career academy? No. She'll, she, and, and she will be in classes with many people from many different career academies, uh, bringing their own unique perspectives to this. Will my student be limited to courses that relate only to his or her career academy? No, like I've said before, they'll have three and a quarter credits or more. Uh, if they take the full load of 28 credits over the course of four years, uh, they'll have many more in whatever they wish. So there is space to do the career academy and other uh, electives they are also interested in. We purposely kept the number of electives low for the career academy certificates um, to make sure that students have that space. How will the academies help make course selection easier? Much easier, in fact. We have career pathways within each career academy. There are sample schedules. Students can merely look at that, see a program of studies that has been identified for them as an excellent grouping of courses, and select that. It's much easier now than going through all, all of our hundreds of different classes and trying to put together a customized schedule, but you still have the freedom if you need to. Will they have a narrow focus? Absolutely not. Because of the suggested schedule, students are actually going to consider m different courses that they might have previously overlooked to increase their knowledge and their depth. So we actually will see students take, uh, take more different courses instead of kind of a narrower field. Uh, can students still take AP courses? Absolutely. We now have plus options. They're identified in those sample schedules. They're, they're strongly encouraged. Um, some AP courses count towards the core graduation requirements, so you'll be able to take those and the AP uh, options inside your career academy. There's that three and a quarter credits of space outside. Um, really our best guidance here is that we strongly recommend an AP course when three things combine. The student needs the time to devote to that course. The student needs the desire and the passion to study that course material because they will be spending so much time on it. And they need the pre-existing skill set in, in finding success for that course. And when they have those three things, you're going to see a very successful AP student. To view our Career Academy videos, I uh, suggest that you uh, visit our YouTube channel. Um, fortunately, you can't click here for the video, but we are uh, What Is Your Tomorrow? And if you visit our channel, you will be able to see our Career Academy videos. What do you do now? I suggest that you look through the program of studies with your child, uh, consider his or her Naviance results, um, discuss with your child his or her goals for the future, the various career academies and the different pathways, um, find answer, answers to your questions. We, uh, we had an a individual answer in period with parents at the, uh, the parent meeting, but please feel free to... Uh, to contact your, your child's guidance counselor for questions. Um, your student's going to then sign up for courses the usual way. If you want to view any of these materials or the program of studies, you can always visit us at whatisyourtomorrow.com. I thank you for spending this time with us and uh, wish you and your child the very best and brightest future because um, we truly believe uh, that your child is Weymouth and, and is ready for the future and we do want to bring that future, a very bright one, to you and yours. Thank you for this time, and take care.